Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about what to do if your DLOOKUPs are really slow in your Microsoft Access database. Today's question comes from Lucas in Chino Hills, California, one of my Platinum members. Lucas says, I don't know why one of my forms is loading so slowly. It's basically my customer list, but I need to look up their sales rep from the employee table based on their state. All right, so each state has their own sales rep. The form ran fine before I added the DLOOKUP, but I really want that information on there. What should I do? Well, Lucas, whenever I hear someone say that DLOOKUP or any of the domain functions, DLOOKUP, DSUM, DCOUNT, any of those things that start with a D, right? Whenever one of those is running slowly, this is my little checklist that I go down to see what the problem might be. Now you've already answered number three. You said the form loaded fine without DLOOKUP, so you know where the problem is. And since you said it's your customer list, I'm assuming it's your customer list form or report, wouldn't matter. If that's the case, try to do it without DLOOKUP. You can use a join in a query to get the same information and queries will run much faster. Queries with subqueries will load up a ton faster than every record in the continuous form having to process that DLOOKUP command. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to fix that in today's video. And yes, my voice is a little hoarse today, sorry. <laughs> Other things to check is your indexing. Make sure all of your IDs are indexed. If they're auto numbers, primary keys, then they should automatically be indexed. If not, if you're looking up based on some other thing like the state field, make sure that is indexed, duplicates okay. Indexing will definitely speed up searches and sorts. Another thing, if you're running across a network and your network is slow, then again, those reports and continuous forms and queries that have lots and lots of records in them are going to load slower. If it's something that you can cache locally, you can do that. In other words, let's say you're looking up the sales rep by state, okay? You can make a local copy of that table just to open up this form or report. So you'll use an update query first, pull down just those records into a local temporary table and then link that into your employee list or your customer list or whatever you're looking up. That way it doesn't have to keep going over the network to get these records over and over again. And of course, for you programmers out there, try to avoid using the domain aggregate functions like DLOOKUP inside of a loop, okay? Use a record set instead, record sets. Even if you have to open and close a record set, it will still run faster than DLOOKUP in my experience. All right, so let's take a peek at what's going on here. Uh, this is my tech help free template. You can download a copy of this database off my website if you want to, it's free. Here's the customer list that Lucas is talking about. And let's say every state here has a dedicated sales rep, okay? So I'll make a sales rep table. So we'll go create, table design. We'll make an ID, let's call it uh, sales rep ID. That'll be my auto number. We'll have the state abbreviation in here. And again, this is where you want to make sure that this is indexed. Yes, duplicates, okay. That will speed up your lookups. And then put the rep name in here. Yes, I know the rep name should be an ID based on a sales rep table, but just for the example for today's class, we're just going to put a rep name in there. All right, save this sales rep ID or T, excuse me. Primary key, yep. Save it. Put a few sample records in here. Let's say Florida is Frank. Let's say New York is Ned. Let's say Texas is Tex. And I don't know, one more. Let's do uh, Pennsylvania is Pete. All right, just, just those four for now. And yes, I know this should be related to an employee table. I get it. So now what you probably did is in your customer list, you wanna add the sales rep in here based on that state field, right? Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of these for now. All right, so let's copy this guy here, copy, paste, slide it over here. Okay, and we're gonna say, open that up. We'll call it sales rep. All right, and here's where people go wrong. They go and they put the DLOOKUP right here in the control source. All right, that's gonna be equals DLOOKUP. Can't type today either, apparently. What are we looking up? The rep name from the sales rep. T where the state equals 
double double quotes, closure quotes, and whatever this person's state is, and close the quotes. Okay, and if you don't know anything about this, go watch my concatenation video and my double double quotes videos. I'll put links to those down below. All right, hit OK, save it, close it, close it, open it up, and there it is. Now that works, and this is fast, because I'm running a small local database, right? I've only got 29 customers and what, four sales reps, so it's gonna run quickly here. But if you had tens of thousands of customers, hundreds of reps, this could slow down. And I've seen some, I've got some forms in my database that I still need to optimize because I've, I pulled this trick. And usually only one page at a time will load. So if you scroll down, it reloads more, okay? But there's a much, much faster way to do this. So instead of using that DLOOKUP, we're gonna create a join in a query. Okay, now this form right now is only based on the customer T. We're gonna make a query to do this. All right, so create, query design. This is what queries are good for. All right, bring in your customer table and then bring in your sales rep T. Now, Access didn't see the join there, so we're gonna make it for it. So right here, state to state like that. Now, we have some states that we don't have sales reps for. So to make sure we still all still see all of our customers, we need to make this an outer join by selecting option two here. If you wanna learn more about that, go watch my outer join video. Again, I'll put a link down below. All right, now I'm gonna bring in all the stuff from the customer table and just the stuff from this table that I wanna see. In this case, I only need the sales rep. Okay, save this, sales rep Q. And now if I run it, you'll see I get all my data from the customers and there's the rep names. And this will load a lot faster than using DLOOKUPs. Okay, now all you have to do is go into your customer list form, right click, design view, change where this guy's getting his data from for the sales rep queue. And now you can add the rep name field right from the field list. And one second, there we go. Save it, close it, close it, open it, boom. There you go. See how much easier that was? No D lookups, it's a nice simple join. Try to use joins first if you can, okay? And remember, you can add the same table multiple times. I've seen people, I got a whole video on this one too. You can add a field, let's say you've got sales rep in here, okay? All right, here's your sales rep table. Let's pretend you're doing employees. You got a sales rep, you've got a service rep, you've got a trainer, right? You can add sales rep team multiple times to join it to different IDs in the customer table. Got a whole separate video on that. I'll put a link to that down below as well. If you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff, I cover relationships and different kinds of joins in my Access Expert Level 1 class. Access Expert Level 10 goes over DLOOKUP a lot more. And of course, I've got the Access Relationship Seminar that covers everything you ever wanna know about relationships in Microsoft Access. So there you go. There is your tech help video for today. I'm gonna go get some tea for my throat and uh, you live long and prosper, my friends. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, 
access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.